FM. Cubby, along with Christine, and the legend is here. Oh, my Lord. Maury oh, Povich yes. in the building. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Maury, last time I saw you, I said this, and I'm going to say it again. I'm not, I'm not hitting on you. Right. <laughs> you look great. Well, I, I mean, feel good. I, you, you, well, you people, people look at me like, uh, what, what's 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 the story here? Uh, I, I don't work out that much. Uh-huh. Maybe a couple of times a week. It's not it's it's not a strenuous workout. You know, I'm not a runner. And you don't mind when I tell people you're 80 and you look 60. You know, I'm, maybe even uh, 55. Uh, I uh, really 80. Yeah, 80. Really? Actually, you're going to be 81 in January. Jeez. Well, they keep the track. <laughs> what day is your birthday? I, I do like my birthday because here are the here are the people who who uh, were born on my birthday, uh, Michelle Obama, and uh, Muhammad Ali. Wow! And Benjamin Franklin. Wait, very cool. January seventeenth. What, day, 17th, what right? day is that? Yeah, seventeenth. January seventeenth. Yeah. Does that make you? I'm um, Capricorn. Are you? Capricorn? I'm a scrappy Capricorn. Yes. <laughs> we are a very ambitious people. <laughs> yeah, we are. Well, How did you know that? You are right. Yeah, because I'm Capricorn. I'm December twenty sixth. Oh, yeah, you're right in the beginning of the year, yeah. and I'm near the end. Yes. But that's uh, Still counts. Well, the day after Christmas. That's mm-hmm. terrific. That was an afterthought. Well, it's good huh? and bad, right? It's not so good. No? Because people all forget those, about her. Tell me about that, Christine. How, all were there combo combos? Gifts. Yeah, can we do a whole show on this? Yeah. I like mean, how I've been traumatized so you, my whole life so by combo So you gifts. really didn't birthday. know whether it was for Christmas or your birthday, huh? <laughs> oh, I knew that my birthday was being ignored. That's what I knew. That's what it was. But did your parents double up on presents? Oh, my parents did it. But for you know, friends, right. and relatives, and relatives, they never took you They're out. Like this is a combo, and when you're little, and there's parties at right. school. I was never in school, so then there was oh, a party right. at my you're house. Oh, that's right. You're always on vacation. So, like completely over having a birthday. Yeah, it just the, doesn't exist. Will you give her a hug? I, I want to tell you. Thank you. It has <laughs> affected you all the way to this. Huh? It has. Huh? <laughs> you can tell, huh? <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> I'm She's just going to work man. it all out now. <laughs> <laughs> so you bring that out in people. Oh, you are. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's a very intimate show we do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, look, we have a lot to talk about. First of all, your show, how long has Mari been on? Is it, is it 91 you went on the air with well, Mari? It, with the Mari Povich show starting in 91, and the Mari show started in 98. So it's 29 years total Wow. as a daytime talk show host, which uh, the researchers tell me I now have broken the record. I'm the longest guy been on Give it up yeah. for Maury. That's fantastic. And, then, yeah. and then the current show, the Maury show, has been on since 1998. It's amazing. And uh, so that's 22 years. So that's it. And now? I can't remember. <laughs> I mean, it's really, it's a long time. It is. It, it's amazing. But now we have, wait, forget the TV show. We have a board game to talk about. Oh, yeah, about. the oh, board game, it right. Home. It's the You Are Not the Father, the Maury game. I love board it. Board game. How does this work? I know I could probably read the directions, but no, I want Maury <laughs> so, to so, explain it to so me. So here, here it is. It's the key. Uh, first of all, do you know that uh, board game called uh, uh, Cards Against Humanity? Of course. Okay. Very popular. It's a popular game. It's an adult game. Right. So this is in the same kind of genre as that. You know, it's fun to play three to six people. You have a couple of beers going around. <laughs> it's, it's one of those games. And it's based on this. A company called us up and said, we want to put out a You Are Not the Father board game. And the key is not to be the father. Mm. Okay. And, and, <laughs> and it's a card game where you have this pile of cards and there are all real quotes on our air uh-huh. from guys and women, women who say you are the father because of all these silly reasons and guys saying I'm not the father for all these silly reasons. For instance, a guy says, uh, I can't be the father because I drank a lot of soda when I was a kid and I can't have kids. <laughs> okay. I mean, so, right. truthfully, yeah. uh, i.e. Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> and so, or, or uh, I, 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 I fell off a jungle gym when I was a kid and uh, something happened to my private parts and I can't have children. Yeah. <laughs> Or oh, these are real. Right, right, I mean, right. these are real. Oh, sure. Or the woman says, "You are the father because your toes are crooked, and so is my little boy's toes." <laughs> you really have heard it all, haven't you? Oh yeah. <laughs> and so these quotes are all in, in all these cards, and the key is to get all the "You are not the father" cards. <laughs> so one guy, one person, woman, or uh, is other left player, with "You wait, are the father." Other players can trash talk you. I hear. Oh too. yeah, it's oh, no nice. question. Oh yeah. Oh, we have to play this. Game. Oh yeah. Do you have to run around you, like the guys do when I, they uh, finally uh, figure uh, out they're not the father? Right. When they're not the father. They do and, the happy dance. Yeah. What's up with happy the dance? dance <laughs> yes. A couple of flips. You've seen yes. some runs, haven't you? Oh, not only I, I saw a guy do an Olympic flip. 
a double flip <laughs> on the stage. I've seen women run when they find out that uh, wow. he's not the father, run backstage, mm-hmm. crash into the sofa, <laughs> sofa, do a head plan on the floor. Oh. I mean, seen it all. How do yeah. people get on your show, by the way? How do people want to be well, on that? Well, first of all, especially that segment. You know, people says, well, where do you get these people from? Mm-hmm. This is part of the American fabric. You don't understand everyone. Uh, this is part of America. The New York Times did a survey uh, about five years ago that 10% of all children in this country are living with the wrong father. Mm -hmm. And so, therefore, there is a (laughs) never-ending conflict between men and women as to whether they're the father or not. And so, uh, they call our show. We we put out a phone number, and our producers... um, just like news producers or, or news production teams, they go through these people, find out exactly what's happening, that everything is on the up and up, and then they come to our show. Uh, they we don't pay them; we give them a per diem, I think, every day for every day they're here, and we give them a plane ticket and a hotel room. And they spend the and, weekend in New York and do the show. Yeah, and air it all. Yeah, I mean, and air it's it out all out yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nobody holds back on our show. I uh, know. <laughs> I mean, (laughs) first of all, if you're going to hold back, you shouldn't be on our show. Exactly. (laughs) Do you remember this being like a one-time thing, thinking, okay, we'll do it once and see what happens? And Uh, did you know like this would be the staple of... That's a terrific question. I I can't... This is what I remember about the first time we ever did the show, and it's not about... This particular segment. Yeah, the the, the uh, DNA test. Uh, I never quite thought of it as, well, this is going to be a one-off. We'll never do this again. Because... uh, I knew that when it came to talk shows, it was, this particular segment was a reality form of soap opera. I mean, it had all those Shakespearean themes of love, lust, betrayal, uh, honesty, uh, lying. Mm. Uh, and so uh, I knew that, that it had the ingredients. What I did not know was what the reaction was going to be. And I know for the, I know one thing I did was when the producer briefed me and the story was there. And then she said to me, and the result is, I said, I don't want to know the result. Mm. I don't, I don't, I don't want to know anything more than my guests or my live audience or my audience at home. I don't want to know anything more than they do because then I'll skew my questions. Mm -hmm. I want to be as upfront and open as I possibly can and that's where the you are not the father or you are the father came because I'm as surprised as everybody else. So, okay, so every single time you're finding out yeah, the rest just of us. The way yeah. It, yeah, I don't know. I do don't want to know. Do you find um, that you've got a good gut instinct now as to when it's going to be the dad? or it's Not a chance. Yeah. Really? Not After all a, the times. Not a clue. I mean, do you know how many times uh, a guy has said, I'm not the father, that baby is too white. I'm mixed and you're black and that's this and that, that, and it ends up being, uh, it ends up being uh, his kid. I mean, uh, mm-hmm. you, you, you just never know. I mean, people who don't look like either mm-hmm. one of these people, they end up being the father or you think they look exactly like this. They're not the father. Right. And then, uh, the, the craziest was when we had a woman who accused this guy of being the father of her twins, and I opened up the envelope, and she and he's the father of one but not the other. Whoa, man! Fraternal twins. That's and you're never thinking, never knew it could happen. Are you thinking Whoa. ratings? Ratings? <laughs> yeah. Ratings? Yeah. Uh, Trust, it's happened twice. Wow! And the doctors say you know it's like a million to one shot. Wow! That the woman was with two guys, and then ended up on your show. And ended yeah. up on your show. <laughs> now, even though it has a lot of entertainment value, it's somewhat sad if you think about it. Well, it's sad, but it's also, I mean, I, I, I use it uh, as a teaching lesson in, the, in this aspect. Uh, I hang my hat on the fact that even though this is a very edgy theme, that w- what's the end game? The end game is if he is the father and he gets into that child's life, that child has a much better chance at success if there are two parents in, the, in, the, uh, in his growing up rather than one. Not, not even if they're, I don't care whether they're together or not, but if they can co-parent, uh, that child has a better chance, and and well said. And you know, this November in sweeps, we're bringing back uh, couples who were here 15 years ago. Oh, 
and now the child well, is grown up, you know, yeah. and uh, finished high school or didn't finish high school, in college, not in college. Did you get into the life of wow. this child? Oh, that's great. And it's great. I yeah. mean, it's a it's a very uplifting show. Shout out to the producers tracking those people down. Yeah. It must have been hard really to do. Good. What are the other, like, big topics for you? We, we do a lot on, uh, we have for many, many years done, done uh, out of control teenagers, <laughs> you know, who want to run the streets. Um, they, they can't get along with anybody at home. Uh, they want to have sex at 13 years old. They want to have a child at 14 years old. And we, we try to, um, scare them straight and mm-hmm. see what that happens. And we bring these people back 15 years later wow. and find out what happened oh. to them. And so that's it. And we do another big theme, uh, about controlling men who have, con- who control their women, abusive to their women. And, uh, we try to set them straight. Yeah, well, before we let you go, anything yeah. else you want to hit before we let you go? We know we no. have Pix 11 every morning at 10 a.m. You're on. Uh, nine, nine and three. Right, nine we'll, and three. We'll edit that. What okay. You're on, you're on Not, Pix 11 every morning, 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. 3 p.m. And you have the board game. What else is going on you want to hit? Uh, I just, my golf game sucks. <laughs> I don't know if we can help I mean, with that I one, just, right? Right. <laughs> well, we love you. And last time we chatted, I remember you telling me you're totally cool when people yell, I am not the father, <laughs> right on the street. You, right. You're cool with that. I was on the subway yesterday, and a uh, uh, guy looks over to me. Uh, I was I was going to the Nets game at, at the Barclays <laughs> Center, and a guy looks over at me, and he says, are you who I think you are? I said, <laughs> yeah, he says, I am not the father. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Star Wars. Is yeah. everybody like for Instagram now? We're like Maury, 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 Maury. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Maury Povich, everybody. Thanks so much, Christine. Thank nice you. to see you. It was so nice to meet Cubby you. Cubby, always. Thank, thank, you. thank you, sir. Thank you. 106.7. Thanks, Ed.